special day because today we experience the universality of the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is a communion of 23 independent churches and today we represent the Syro Malabar Church, the liturgy of which originated in the Middle East and then traveled to India. First, we believe that St. Thomas the Apostle came to India and preached the Gospel and then onwards we have been preserving this language, the Aramaic language in which this liturgy was originally uh, being celebrated until 1962. The Sira Malabar Church before the Vatican Council uh, translated the liturgy from Aramaic, Syriac to the local language Malayalam and then because of the immigrant Christians to the Western world now the liturgy is also available in English and that's what we are going to celebrate today. So you'll experience a liturgy, a mass in an Eastern uh, rite. There is yet another special thing that is happening today here. For the first time probably we are going to sing two chants in the Aramaic language. The opening chant where the priest asks permission from the people and the people respond saying you have the permission from the Messiah is going to be sung in Syriac which is Aramaic. And there will be another chant later before the first reading the Trisagion, thrice holy in uh, Aramaic again. The, the word, the name, Syro Malabar Church, the Syro stands for the Syriac language. So not only the Syro Malabar Christians get a chance to listen to the Aramaic chant, but also for those who are here who may not have heard a chant in, Syriac, in the Syriac language have a chance to listen to it today.
in his mercy has given us these sacred mysteries for the renewal and redemption of the human race. We pray that you strengthen us who are frail to celebrate these mysteries. Lord of all, forever and ever. your name forever. I will exalt you, my God, and my King. I will bless your name forever. Every day I will bless you, Lord. I will praise your name forever. to the Lord my soul. I shall praise the Lord all my life. Sing praise to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in me mortals powerless to celebrate our God in song how sweet to give fitting praise the Lord rebuilds Jerusalem gathers the dispersed of Israel to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit forever, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be. sweet fragrance of your love wafts over us and when our souls are enlightened with the knowledge of your truth may we be found worthy to receive your beloved son as he appears from the heaven 
May we also glorify you and praise you unceasingly in your church, crowned like a spouse with every goodness and grace. For you are the Lord and creator of all, forever and ever. washed and purified my hands and walked in procession around your altar. and sisters, raise your voices and glorify the living God. Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Kandisha Laha, Kandisha Hail Sahana, Kandisha Lama Yosa, Yesaham. be with us. Glorious, mighty, immortal, and holy God, you are pleased to dwell in 
the Holy One. We beseech you, look upon us, pardon us, and show compassion according to your nature, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord of all, forever and ever. proclaim the glory of God with the hymns of the Holy Spirit and the hymns of Alleluia. Let us commemorate the feast of Mother Mary. Let us now celebrate on the Psalter. the sweet voice of your life-giving and divine commandments. In your mercy and grace, grant that they may bear in the fruits of love, hope and salvation, beneficial to our body and soul, and that may, we may constantly sing your praise. Lord of all, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 1 to 6. I, the prisoner in the Lord, implore you to lead a life worthy of your vocation. Bear with one another charitably, in complete selflessness, gentleness, and patience. Do all you can to preserve the unity of the Spirit by the peace that binds you together. There is one body, one Spirit, just as you were all called into one, and the same hope when you were all called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God, who is the Father of all, through all and within all. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus went off to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, or of Tiberias, and a large crowd followed him, impressed by the signs he gave by curing the sick. Jesus climbed a hillside and sat down there with his disciples. It was shortly before the Jewish feast of Passover. Looking up, Jesus saw the crowds approaching and said to Philip, Where can we buy some bread for these people to eat? He only said this to test Philip. He himself knew exactly what he was going to do. Philip answered, 200 denarii would only buy enough to give them a small piece each. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said, There is a small boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what is that between so many? Jesus said to them, Make the people sit down. There was plenty of grass there, and as many as 5,000 men sat down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and gave them out to all who were sitting ready. He then did the same with the fish, giving out as much was, as was wanted. When they had eaten enough, he said to the disciples, Pick up the pieces left over, so that nothing gets wasted. So they picked them up and filled twelve hampers with scraps left over from the meal of five barley loaves. The people, seeing this sign that he had given, said, This really is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, who could see they were about to come and take him by force and make him king, escaped back to the hills by himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, praise Lord, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In excitement and pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear Jesus. our prayer. For Pope Francis, for all bishops, priests and church leaders, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Lord will strengthen them to bring the gospel to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders and rulers of the nations, that they may recognize the dignity of every human being, especially the poor, the sick, the outcast, and the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in the vocations to the priesthood and religious life, and for the sanctity and perseverance of all the clergy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of all nations to live in peace and harmony, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Strengthen us to participate actively in the whole Quibana and be worthy to receive the body and blood, the source of our life and resurrection. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, who conquered death, fill your church with new life by being alive in it. Make us companions of your life of sacrifice to enable us to be partners in your resurrection. May your peace and tranquility dwell in this congregation, their families, and the entire mankind forever and ever. Amen. Lord Almighty God, we humbly implore you, fill us with your merciful grace. Pour forth your gifts through our hands. May your blessings and grace be obtained, forgiveness of debts and remission of sins for the flock we have chosen in your infinite mercy. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord of all, forever and ever. Almighty God, yours is the Holy Catholic Church, the flock redeemed through the passion and suffering of your anointed Son, through the grace of the Holy Spirit who is one in divine being with you, 
the orders of true priests were conferred by the imposition of hands. In your merit, great mercy, you have made us worthy, weak and lowly though we are, to be distinctive members of your mystical body, the Church, and to minister to the faithful. Lord, fill us with your mercy and grace and pour forth your blessings through our hands. May your mercy and blessings be on us and on this your chosen people. Merciful God, bless us. Grant that all of us as one body may properly please you throughout our lives by works of justice that reconcile us with you. Make us worthy to offer you an ever-ending praise, homage, thanksgiving, and adoration. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord of all, forever and ever. In the Lord I put my firm trust.
faith. Please follow the text that is in this small book. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of all things, visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, the firstborn before all creatures, and Lord the Father of not made true God and true to God, consubstantial to the Father, through him the world was formed, and all things were created for the sake of us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and became man and was conceived and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered and was crucified in the days of Pontius Pilate, died and was raised, and on the third day he was rose again, as it is written, he ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the dead and the living. We believe in the one Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. We believe in the one Holy Catholic and the Pastoral Church. For the remission of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. May God, the Lord of all, strengthen you to sing His praises. I give you thanks, God, the Lord of heaven and earth, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Though I am a sinner, in your mercy I have made this worthy to offer you the glorious life given and divine mystery of the body and blood of your anointed one. I celebrate these divine mysteries for the people of the forfeiture of death, the forgiveness of sins, and the salvation of their souls, the reconciliation of the whole world, and for the peace and tranquility of all the church. Lord our God, we thank you for the abundant graces you have showered on us. For though we are sinful and weak, through your infinite mercy, you have made us worthy to be ministers of the sacred mysteries of the body and blood of your anointed one. We implore you to strengthen us to celebrate with deep love and true faith these gifts that you have given us. We offer you praise and honor, worship and thanksgiving, now, always and forever. Sisters, this is the time to exchange peace. Peace. Brothers and sisters, give peace to one another in the love of Christ. For the patriarchs, bishops, priests, and deacons who have departed from this world, Lord, receive this kubana for all the departed who belong to other walks of life in the community of the church. Lord, receive this kubana. For peace on earth and for your merciful blessings and prosperity in all the seasons. For all the children of the church who are found worthy to receive this offering in your sight, Lord, receive this kurban. For all your servants now standing in your holy presence, for all other people, Lord, receive this kurban. Thank the Lord and entreat him with pure and contrite hearts. Let us stand with due reverence and be attentive to the awe-inspiring mysteries being celebrated here. The bishop is imploring that peace may flourish through his intercession. Bowing our heads, let us lift up our thoughts to heaven and pray fervently and devotedly in our hearts. Peace be with us. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now, always and forever. be on high towards Son and Holy Spirit, the adorable name of your most blessed Trinity is worthy of honor from every mouth, thanksgiving from every tongue, and praise from every creature. For in your great kindness you created the world and everything in it, and showed humanity your immense mercy. Multitudes of heavenly hosts and thousands of holy angels and hosts of spiritual ministers of fire and spirit bow down and adore you, O Most High. And they glorify your name and offer you worship together with the holy cherubim and seraphim, praising you with a loud voice unceasingly, they proclaim in one voice. offspring from your bosom. He is your own likeness and splendor of the image of your own being. Setting aside his equality with you, he emptied himself taking the form of a servant. Born of a woman, he became a complete human being with a rational, intelligent and immortal soul and a mortal body. He subjected himself to the law in order to redeem those who were under the law. He left for us a memor the memorial of our salvation, this redemptive mystery which we now offer before you. Lord our God, we commemorate the passion of your beloved Son as he taught us. On the night he was handed over, Jesus took bread in his pure and holy hands, lifted up his eyes to heaven. To you, the adorable Father, blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
This is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Take this and eat it all of you. Likewise, taking the cup, he gave thanks, blessed it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Take this and drink from it, all of you. Whenever you gather together in my name, do this in memory of me. Lord, as you have commanded us, we, your humble, weak and distressed servants, are gathered together in your presence. You have showered upon us such great blessings for which we can never thank you enough. To make us share in your divine life, you assumed our human nature, restored us from our fallen state, and brought us from death to life eternal. Forgiving our debts, you sanctified us sinners, enlightened our minds, defeated our enemies, and glorified our frail nature by your immense grace. We give you glory and honor, thanksgiving and adoration for all your favors and graces you have granted us, now, always and forever. Supreme Pontiff in Rome, the ruler and head of the Universal Church, Pope Francis, for Major Archbishop Mark George, our Archbishop Malcolm, for all bishops for the entire Holy Catholic Church, the priests, rulers, and all those who are in authority. Lord mighty God, receive this Kurbana. Lord, graciously receive this Kurbana. For the honor and glory of all the prophets, disciples, martyrs, confessors, and all the just and holy martyrs who have found favor in your presence, Lord, receive this Qurban. Lord, graciously receive this Qurban. For those who suffer and are in distress, the poor and the oppressed, the sick and the afflicted, for all those who have departed from us in your name. For this, your people, who await your mercy with great hope, and for me, your unworthy servant. Lord, receive this Kurbana. Lord, graciously receive this Kurbana. Lord our God, as you taught us, we offer you the body and blood of your anointed one on this pure and holy altar. May we invoke in this memorial celebration the sacred memory of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, and of the just and holy fathers who found favor in your presence through your infinite mercy. Grant us your peace and tranquility all the days of our lives. Let all the people on earth know that you alone are the true God, the Father, and that you sent your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. May all the people know that Christ, our Lord and God, in his life-giving gospel, came and taught us the way to purity and sanctity of the prophets and apostles, martyrs and confessors, doctors and bishops, priests and deacons, and all the children of the Holy Catholic Church who have been signed with the life, living and life-giving seal of baptism. Lord, we, your humble, weak and distressed servants, who received your example handed over from generation to generation, have come together in your name and stand in your holy presence. We commemorate and celebrate these great, awesome, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries of the passion, death, burial and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's pray in silence and reverence. Peace be with us. Lord our God, may your Holy Spirit descend on this Kurbana. May he dwell on this Kurbana of your servants and bless and sanctify it. May this Kurbana grant us remission of our debts, 
forgiveness of our sins, great hope of the resurrection of the dead, and new life in your heavenly kingdom with all those who have found favor in your presence. Lord our God, we offer unending praise for your glorious and ineffable plan of our salvation, and with joy and hope we offer you thanksgiving in your church, redeemed by the precious body of your anointed one. We offer glory and honor and thanksgiving and worship to your living, holy and life-giving name, now, always and forever. Mercy on me, O God, in your loving kindness. In your Lord of fragrance and spices, may this incense and our prayers be pleasing to you, just as the incense which Aaron the high priest offered to you in the tent of the Ark of the Covenant, found favor in your presence, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord, and fall forever and ever. <coughs> o Lord Jesus Christ, may there be glory to your name and worship to your majesty forever. For this living and life-giving bread has come down from heaven and gives life to the whole world. Whoever eats this bread will not die, but will receive remission of sins, attain salvation, and live forever. of the Holy Spirit be with us all now always and forever Amen. approach the mysteries of the precious body and blood of our Savior with reverence and respect with the hope arising from repentance let us turn away from wrongdoing repent to our sins and forgive the trespasses of our brothers and sisters. Let us pray to God, the Lord of all, for mercy and forgiveness. Lord, forgive the sins and offenses of your servants. Let us cleanse our hearts, turning away from dissensions and conflicts. Lord, forgive the sins and offenses of your servants. Let us free our souls from enmity and hatred. Lord, forgive the sins and offenses of your servants. Let us receive the Holy Kubana and be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Lord, forgive the sins and offenses of your servants. Let us receive these sacred mysteries in peace and unity with one another. Lord, 
forgiveness and the sins of the servants. O Lord, may these sacred mysteries be for the resurrection of our bodies and the salvation of our souls. May they be the source of life everlasting. Amen. Lord our God, in your mercy forgive the sins and offenses of your servants. Sanctify our lips to praise you, O Most High, together with all the saints in the kingdom of heaven. Lord, let peace flourish in our midst and tranquility in our hearts. May our tongues proclaim your truth. Let your cross be our protection when we turn our mouths into new harps and sing your praise with lips on fire. Make us worthy to pray with confidence we have received from you the magnificent prayer you taught your disciples, saying, When you pray, pray thus. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day the bread we need, and forgive us our debts and sins, as we have forgiven those who have lent us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God Almighty, fullness of all goodness, our merciful Father, we entreat you for your mercy. Do not lead us to temptation. Deliver us from the evil one and his hosts. For yours is the kingdom, the might, the power, and the dominion in heaven and on earth, now, always, and forever. be with you. The holy Kurbana is for the holy people. God the Father alone is holy. God the Son alone is holy. God the Spirit alone is holy. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. praise the living. Let there be eternal praise to him in the church. Let his assistance and mercy be on us at all times. our Lord, hope of mankind. Let not the holy body and precious blood that we have received result in our judgment and condemnation. Rather, may they obtain for us remission of our debts, forgiveness of our sins, and joy in your divine presence. Lord of all, forever and ever. Strengthen our hands to receive the Holy Quran for the forgiveness of sins and make them worthy to offer you good fruits every day. Make our lips and sign hymns in this holy place worthy to praise you in heaven. May the ears that heard the sound of your praises do not have to hear the voice of condemnation. May the eyes that beheld your marvelous mercy have the privilege to hold your blessed second coming. Enable the tongues that praise you singing slowly to speak the truth. May the feet that walked in the house of God also walk in the land of life. Grant your life to our bodies that receive your living body. And rich the blessings our community that worship you. May your everlasting love remain with us always, and may we grow in that love to offer your praises. 
open the door to our prayers. May the service be acceptable in your presence. Let us all who have been made worthy by the grace of the Holy Spirit to approach and partake in these glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries offer praise and thanksgiving to God, the giver of these gifts. Praise be to you, O Lord, for this ineffable gift. Let us pray. Peace be with us. Lord our God, peace, right and just at every moment and in all seasons to our praise, worship and thanksgiving to your glorious name. In your great compassion, though we are weak, you make us worthy to release the sweetness of your life-giving and divine words, to glorify your name with the angels, to partake in these holy mysteries you have given us, and to sing constantly hymns of praise and thanksgiving to you. Most High, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord of all, forever and ever. Savior of thine giver, in his mercy has made us worthy to receive his sanctified and precious body and blood. May he bless us so that we may please him to our thoughts, words, and deeds. Lord, in your immense mercy, may the covenant we have received from you be for the remission of sad deaths and for the forgiveness of sins. Great hope for the resurrection of the dead a new life everlasting in heaven with all those who found favor in your presence. Lord of all, forever and ever. us with every grace through Jesus Christ our Lord our Lord has invited us to his kingdom and has led us to everlasting joy he who eats of my body and drinks my blood will live in me and I will live in him indeed I will raise him up on the last day without condemnation and he will enjoy eternal with this promise may the Lord bless and protect this congregation that has partaken of this holy kurbana may God pour his blessings on those who received these sacred mysteries may we be sealed with the life-giving sign of the lord may we be protected from all evil now always and forever It is indeed a tremendous privilege to become part of the history. First time, uh, most solemn liturgical Eucharistic celebration in 
Thirumal Balitaji. And we are indeed privileged, very privileged to have Father Palakil here. I knew him as a seminarian. I knew him as a priest later on. After a very long time, we met again here. He is a reputed musician priest, very well known and appreciated all over the Malayalam speaking, Christian community, the Kerala community, all over the world. We were indeed privileged to have him here for this very auspicious history, epoch-making occasion. We take this opportunity to thank you, Father. God bless you. I am pleasantly surprised to see many of the parishioners attending this Mass and uh, going through this experience. I would like to especially thank James Prince who organized this along with uh, Dr. Martin Anthony. When uh, James was organizing this Mass, he went through the most uh, painful experience that he had he was to find singers and a keyboard player and finally our own, your own music director and graciously consented to it and I found the, she was, she became so comfortable with this music. So I truly appreciate and the service that you did, uh, that you worked hard to make this happen. You made it your own. I would like to also to thank our singers. They did very, they sang very well. And Preston, Tina, Gigi, and I know Thomas, Jamie, Anthony, Sudhi, Gigi, and Anna, James. Let us truly thank them and give it. This is the first time this version of uh, English, this version of music is being used in England. So this place becomes part of the history. And I'm truly happy that you all cooperate. In spite of the inclement weather, you dare to come and go through this experience. And uh, I hope uh, I hear your pastor, Father Christopher, is a singer. Today he had a sore throat. But I hope um, he will take it up. And once a year, you might want to celebrate this Mass. You have, Deacon knows his parts already. <laughs> they all teamed up and adjusted and made it their own. So this was truly a great experience. Thank you, James. Thank you, Dr. Matt Madani. Thank you, Father Christopher. Thank you, Deacon. And we have an ultra server who came all the way from London, Tony. Tony. He is a member of the Silo Malabar Church, but he is a seminarian for the uh, Suffolk Diocese. So it is wonderful that he, he heard about this Mass. He volunteered to come and serve. So let us thank him too. <laughs> And when I thought of celebrating this Mass, I thought I would be alone, a uh, lonely man here. No, we have <laughs> Father Zacharias and Father Roy were kind enough, although it is a Sunday, they were kind enough to come down and come celebrate with us. It is a great honor for me and for this cause. Thank you, both priests. Thank you so much.